What went in then to the decision to opt out with you and Elijah the last two games? And do you regret it at all considering how the Outback Bowl went? So the South Carolina game, I caught the pass. I got twisted up wrong and pulled my hip flexion, my groin. I couldn't really run. So next week for a couple of days, I didn't practice. Then I played in the Mississippi State game with a wrap on, still wasn't fully healthy, but then I was still going to keep playing. But then the next week we got hit with Corona for Texas A&M, and I was with our training staff for a month, not really getting any better. So, I mean, I was still like gimpy and stuff like that. I wasn't my full self. So I just talked with the coaches, talked with my family, and just really didn't want to put bad stuff on film because I wasn't playing 100%. Throughout that whole week, Texas A&M, I just thought about it, talked to my coaches, and so the best decision for me was to start getting rehab somewhere else and start getting, preparing myself for the next level. So, I mean, it was all that. It was a lot of thought into it. It wasn't easy at all. It really sucked because um, I wanted to play an LSU game. I wanted to, That was a big game for me because LSU beat us last year, so I wanted to play LSU. And then also play in the bowl game since I didn't play in my bowl game at Temple my last year. So it, it really sucked just knowing that I couldn't be myself and just play in the game. But... I'm glad that they won the Outback Bowl and that they played real hard. I also knew that we had some good tight ends behind us, so it's not like I was leaving the team handicapped fully. So that was really all that went into it. 